Hi, my name is Sandra Ferreira. I'm a licensed psychotherapist with over 30 years of clinical experience working with individuals from all over the world, studying holistic sciences and national psychology. When you think about press play, starting life back from uh, to direct social interactions, we need to build on the learnings we have acquired through the pandemics. For me, the most important lesson was that we are all in this together. We are more dependent on each other than we would like to admit. Does that mean that the world has suddenly and magically become this paradise of compassion and solidarity after COVID-19? Certainly not. We still see a great deal of corruption, uh, violence and selfishness in every sector of our society, in our country and all over the world. I think you all remember the toilet paper fiasco, right? <laughs> this is my friend's uh, birthday cake, first birthday cake after the pandemics. Not so appetizing, but very appropriate. <laughs> so for those reasons, I invite you all to join me in this scientific uh, reflection so we can take advantage of this collective, uh, long and painful uh, experience uh, learning the very lessons of collective interdependence and irrefutable holistic ecosystem that, as a society, we still insist on denying. Uh, uh, competition, racism and discrimination is the source of most of our problems. It can lead to inequality, hunger, misery, violence, war, and even physical illnesses. The, uh, and the uh, development of modern sciences drove us farther and farther from our spiritual connection with each other. Nowadays, uh, Americans and Europeans tend to believe that inferior race concepts attributed to people from African, Asian, and Latino descent are true facts. But in, uh, archaeology, history, and anthropology has proven otherwise. How does a pandemic's uh, infectious disease caused by a potent virus can help us to understand and heal other social problems that we suffer from eons without yet a cure? How can collective sociopathies such as racism and discrimination can be understood and healed if we learn the lessons of interdependence that this pandemic imparts to us? How can quantum physics, systems theory, and other holistic sciences can contribute to this healing? We have seen that uh, most of our problems have, uh, is caused by competition, racism, and discrimination. The development of modern sciences really led us further and further from our, our spiritual connection with each other and with nature. Social Darwinism affirms that evolution depends on the stronger prevailing over the weaker. This mindset led us to an exacerbation of aggressive competitiveness, which in turn led us to two world wars. After the Second World War left Europe and part of Asia in total ruins, social and political scientists started to realize that this mindset of the stronger prevailing over the weaker would not progress the human race, but lead us to total destruction, and therefore was based on a false idea that it needed to be abandoned. While Darwinism is based on competition and individual survival, Quantum physics, systems theory, and other holistic sciences uh, pr uh, believes in, is, is based in a principle that everything is interrelated and the world and universe is part of an indivisible wholeness. Holism is a concept that um, all things in the universe is part of an indivisible wholeness instead of the sum of individual parts. The studies of the Austrian biologist, uh, Christopher uh, um, 
the studies of the Austrian biology, Ludwig von Bertalanffy, which started back in 1925, led him to develop a new science called systems theory, which was published between 1950 and 1968. Making a bridge between natural and social sciences, systems theory helps science to develop uh, and understand uh, the no physical reality, including social and psychological phenomena, as a continuous ecosystem where everything is interconnected, interdependent, and interrelated. Basically, holism. N nature and biology has established the rules through which nature works. The uh, biological uh, behaviors, the behaviors in adaptive uh, uh, evolutions uh, that pre uh, proclaims benefits to the whole ecosystem continues. And the ones who harm it naturally becomes extinct. Nature self-regulates in this evolutionary saga of self-preservation. There is no individual self-preservation without the preservation of the whole ecosystem. Therefore, evolution continues uninterrupted only while the systems, not the individual parts, self-regulate. Bertalanffy's systems theory, uh, following those biological rules of self-regulation, implicitly prioritizes the common good, the ecosystem. On, under systems theory, and uh, this, this biological principle of uh, self-regulation uh, can also be observed in every system, including families, corporations, uh, social groups, etc., not only in nature. Under systems theory, the parts can never be understood or treated in isolation, as it ultimately does not exist without a whole. Even though it carries in its core the basic imprint of the system in which it belongs, it does not reflect the true complexity of the system at large. For example, in electronics, analyzing and understanding a single transistor in a telecommunication central will not be enough to understand the whole net, even though its defect will definitely affect the net and all the other individual transistors in the system, which will automatically take over the signal that the defective transistor will not be able to decode and retransmit further. Therefore, the any absence of the fact of any single part will affect and damage and shift the whole net. So furthermore, the idea that evolution depends on competition is a distortion of reality. Adjustment to the environment does not reflect that we need to deliberately destroy our co-inhabitants, but pursue flexibility to adjust to the environment. For that matter, collaboration and cooperation with the environment has proven to be more effective in this adjustment process. By living this way, under these outdated Darwinistic principles of competition, exploitation, and oppression, we are living like people from the Middle Age that uh, insisted with the idea that the Earth was flat and ended in a big cliff. Or even worse, behaving like cancer cells, working against the same environment to which we all belong. The American physicist David Bohm, one of the most important contributors to modern quantum physics, explains in theory through the concepts of holo movement and holographic reality that the universe is an indivisible wholeness which works under implicate and explicate orders. That is, all matter, substance, and all that's manifested exist in an explicate order. And all energy and all that's not manifested in an implicate order. 
They are both equally important and inseparable components of reality. Through the implicate order, the energy of all that exists is interconnected and through which we feel the constructive and destructive if effect of each other and the environment over us and vice versa. So according to quantum physics, we are all in this together, whether we like it or not. Regardless of your religion, race, ethnicity, and or immigration status, we are all here together in the same universe, which is indivisible. These new and current scientific findings shows us that we are all dependent on each other, and any exclusion, segregation, or discriminatory division causes an illness in everyone else. It's about time for us to stop living in these outdated principles of competition, racism, and discrimination, and start behaving in a more mature and evolved attitude where we can honor our ancestors who recurrently died to grant us this status we have today. Mature enough to understand that collaboration and respect for our differences are both the new scientific trend and the only choice we have to preserve our species and planet. Political and economic regimes come and go. But our species needs to behave in ways that enable us to survive through them all. Survive by respecting our brave immigrants all over the world who continue to keep our adaptability as a species in shape. Survive by respecting our differences and honoring our diversity, which are the most essential advantages we have painfully acquired through the trials of eras. Survive by understanding that we are all interconnected, all nations, all species, humanity amongst themselves, humans and nature. We are all in this together. Thank you.